Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom Tips made possible by our friends from Bank UN Rogue. Now, one of the things that I always do, of course, is retouch the skin. Not because a model has, well, bad skin, but you want to make it look more smooth, you know? You want to make it more commercial. I don't know if that's the right term, but you know what I mean, right? You, you want to retouch the skin a little bit. So let's take a look at how our model looks. Let's go to 200%. And as you can see, there are some irregularities in our skin, like over here. Of course, we did some pre-work for you guys, but hey. Now, of course, you can use the clone tool, but the clone tool, I don't know, I just don't like the clone tool to do the more less obvious retouching stuff for the very simple reason. You can often see that there's been a clone tool at work because you see those tractor, sometimes I call them tractor tracks because they're really obvious. A much better solution is the healing brush and you can find it over here. Now, I still use the old fashioned healing brush. You also have the spot healing brush. And with the spot healing brush, you can just select something and the computer will figure out where the detail has to come from. And as you can see here, it does an okay job, but it's not perfect. And I, of course, want to make it perfect. So, I use the old-fashioned healing brush. Now, normally, the healing brush is actually round, as you can see here. Now, if I want to take this out, this is just a small part, I can, of course, use the old key, select somewhere and just very gently take it out. But because I'm using a rather big brush, this, well, it takes a little bit of time. So let's go back and show you the trick. So what I actually do is I go to the healing brush and I don't make it round, but I actually make it like an oval. And now I can get way more closer to our problem areas and make the retouching a lot smoother, but most of all less obvious. So you won't see that there's been some retouching done on our skin. Well, nobody has this smooth skin, but you know what I mean, right? So it's a very, very simple trick to make sure that the healing brush isn't obvious. There we go. So that's the trick. Go into your settings for your brush and change it from round to more like an oval. And you can also change the direction, of course. It's a very simple trick, but it saves me a lot of time and it's way more accurate. If you like what we do, Please subscribe to our channel, leave comments below, and of course, smash that like button. But most of all, tell other people about our channel so we can grow it for you guys.